All those theme pages that you see online on Instagram, well, they just have one thing in common. Nowadays, they just build it with the AI. And I'm gonna show you today, first of all, which AI tools to use. And second of all, how to structure all of this. And of course, I'm gonna tell you the magic trick. So I was inspired by this channel. They don't have a lot of followers, as you can see. But all these other ones, well, they do have a lot, but they have one thing in common. Well. They're just consistent. And that's the magic trick that I was telling you about. Now, today I'm gonna show you how to make something similar to this. So, it's a simple video. It's not even a video, it's just a animation. Made with Leonardo, brought to life by DID. This for script, of course, and of course, some magic from Eleven Labs. So, let's just go with the step number one. First of all, if you don't use Midjourney, if you don't wanna pay for it, well, Leonardo is the answer. You don't have to have a Discord, just launch the app, and this is just your usual image generation tool, and it's simple. Have a look at this. You can just get all of these prompts. So, for example, if you wanna create something similar to this, you can just go and take this prompt. So copy the prompt and generate this with this exact same model. But I wanted to create an animated character. Let me just show you the end result first. It always seems impossible until it's done. Sweet character, just telling a certain quote. That's what we need. That's how all these are functioning. And they do have a lot of traction on Instagram. Honestly, Instagram is a time waster. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. But of course, if you produce more than you consume, well, you can make money on it. So, in Leonardo, you want to generate an image. Click on AI image generation. And in here, you can just choose something which is called 3D animation style, as you can see right here. But also, you can just use this Dream Shaper version 7 or version 6, whatever. And this is what I have as a prompt. You can just copy this one. So, friendly Pixar guy, host, looking at camera, empty background. Click on the generate and you can see it costs for all of these credits. But you don't have to worry. You've got like 150 of these regenerating each 24 hours. So, you don't have to pay for it. So, you can see it's always going to be different. It is going to be similar, but it's always going to be a different picture. So, if you don't like these two, you can just generate another two. You can even just go to three or four. And the next step is, of course, well, we just have to write a certain quote. For this, I always use philosophers because it goes well. I just noticed that it gets a lot of attention and a lot of watch time. So this is what I use. Give me five quotes from stoic philosophers. And of course, ChatGPT knows them. And of course, you can just go and get five more if you don't like these. For example, I like this one. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Now, this is true. So the next step, when we get ourselves a picture first, of course, is to download one of these. Click on the download image and then make yourself an account on DID. I'm just going to close this one and I'm going to go over to the video section here. Now, you can see that they've got plenty of these characters. You've got like all of these avatars, but of course, you will click on the add button here and you can see some of these requirements. It has to like face up front. That's why I showed you that prompt and you just add this, select the one that we have made and of course, it is going to provide. In here, you just have to type that script. And in our case, this is gonna be the script. Paste the script in there, but we're not gonna use the one that comes with DID, simply because Eleven Labs is way more natural. Just have a listen. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. So natural. Now, once you click on there, firstly, you will generate the video here. Download that video to your computer and we're ready for the next step. Now, what I like to use in order to just put these pieces together is CapCut Online. You can use Premiere Pro, you can use DaVinci, whatever, but CapCut is free and it's inside of your web browser. You can simply just create a new video, add the voiceover, and of course, the video that's going to be provided by DID. Now, of course, on CapCut, you will choose this. 9 by 16 that's the format that needs to be on Instagram Reels. And now you just upload the video that we have made with DID. And then you add the voiceover as well. Now that you have this imported into CapCut Editor, you can always just like watch the preview, for example, like this. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Now, of course, just make this like fit the whole screen, you know. You want this to fit the whole screen and it doesn't matter that this face is going to go outwards. You know, it's good like this. Now, the only thing that is missing, it's the captions, of course. You know, the captions just generate a lot of more watch time. In order to generate the captions, you can see here, 
captions. Just click on it. You have the auto captions as well, which is going to make CapCut listen to the audio file of your video, or you can just enter the captions manually. Because we know the script, well, we can just add the captions manually. Now, you see down there, you just have to move this like here. And of course, this default, let's just move it like this. And then you can just have a watch to see how it looks like. Before we do that, just make sure that it can be seen. All right. So if it's like a blue background, it can be seen like this, for example. And now let's just have a it's look at it. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Now you just have to make this as pen. And you can even separate, for example, if you want to go word by word, or if you want to just go and separate this in like two sentences, like here, for example, or I will just move this like this, let's say. Let's now have a listen. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. So now it looks better. I would just go and I would just, for example, increase the size of it and maybe change the color. You can even change the fonts of it. You can do a lot of things with this one. Just click here on the basic and you can see that you can change these fonts. There's like default, there's Comic Sans, there's Curious Cat, there's a lot of these fonts which you can use. Just choose something that is easy to like read. It just has to be easy to read nothing else. You can change the colors as well. You can do bold, whatever, but just keep it simple. All right. When you're actually done with this, click on the export button here. And why I love CapCut is that it has this like Instagram real function. So it knows the format and everything related to it. So you can just click on Instagram reels and you can even directly upload it to Instagram via web browser. And then as I've told you at the beginning, all that matters is consistency. People always watch this number, but it's not important as this number is the number of posts. Trust me, if you are dedicated enough, if you are consistent enough, nothing can stop you. For example, let's just go with two to three per day and you'll see really, really good reach. And of course, the watch time. People just love to consume content like this. And of course, what I always suggest is that you go and just see what other people are doing. Just go and see how they structure their content. Steal ideas, you know, because in the end, it's not going to be like you copied and pasted. You just modeled the success from someone that already is successful in that field. Now, what I always do as well is that, for example, if you are new to Instagram theme pages, I just click on the followers of my competitors. And if you are in the philosophy niche like this person is, and if you go over to their followers, now, if you follow all these people, a lot of these people will follow you back. Well, they're just interested in philosophy, right? And these philosophy quotes. So if they see that you make similar content, they will just follow you back. The conversion rate is going to be like 50%. It's all that you need for a beginning. After that, you just have to work for it. This is not a get rich quick scheme, but it can be certainly profitable for you if you are dedicated. So wish you good luck, work hard, and I'll catch you.